Oh, hello, what is this? It's me, Steve from Great Bit, once again, doing a video about old video games and whatnot. This month, we're taking a look at the Amsoft 12 game promotional pack for the Amstrad CPC 464. There it is. I was actually originally, when I uh, decided I was going to make this video, uh, do them on my Amstrad CPC 464, which I have, but uh, I thought it would be fun for me to go, now let's go over to the Amstrad corner. But I went there, and it was the most depressing place on earth. <coughs> so instead, uh, I'm going to be emulating these games, although clearly I own them, because I'm that guy. Uh, and we're just going to take a look at it and see what they were like. So this is that. Over to you, Steve. Right, well, it's a good start. It's a lovely uh, lovely title screen. Here we are. Animal, vegetable, mineral. Uh, I'll start, please. Oh, I love typing a thing and pressing enter. It's so programmy. My first name is Stephen. That's what I'd have done rather than Steve when I was a kid, and I've definitely capitalised it because I was a pedant. Uh, right, think of an object. Cat. A cat. Give you an easy one. It's the object you thought of, an animal, vegetable, or mineral. It is an animal. It has got four legs. You're doing really well. Two in a row. Oh, thinking. Go on. It's not a cow, no. But, you know, it's a mammal. You're in the right ballpark. You... You give up. I don't really feel like you tried that hard. All right, well, it was a cat. Uh, uh, now, now, please type in a question that has a yes or no answer. And so that, oh, right, okay. Uh, does it go meow? Correct answer for a cat is yes, mate. Cats go meow. Do you want to change any entries? I don't know what that means, so I won't. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm happy to... I mean, that's, I, f I know it's like only an old computer. I feel like they could have squeezed a few more animals, vegetables, and minerals into the uh, into the code. But, all right, we'll have another go. Let's see if you've learned. Uh, I'm glad you've chosen to play again. Thank you, weird computer. Uh, I'll go with the cat again. Go with the cat again. It's an animal. It's got four legs. Yes, it has. Does it go meow? Ah! Yes, it does. Oh thinking don't screw this up it will be very embarrassing if you do it is a cat yeah yeah it's a cat computer is happy uh would you like another go no i no i i never want another go okay we've got difficulty levels for this one we're going to go one because i remember this game was hard as nails number one i'll take 50 lives please what's it what's the bits down the bottom music plays or stop music well we'll see I, I, I can't remember if it was horrible or lovely, so we'll wait a minute. H is hold. Hold? Is that like pause before we agreed what pause was? Like intermission. Wait a minute. Whoa. H for hold. All right, let's continue. Okay. Let's do it. Let's games. Here we go. Oh, that's horrible music. I'm going to turn that down. So, so the way this works, you have to press uh, the appropriate button right there. Up and left. Oh, he's, no, he's fallen in the sea. Uh, that's just too early. No, he's dead. Dead. Oh, dear. All right. Let's try to get one all the way. I'll just get that guy there. This is our guy. Right. Very good. Well done, me. You're dead. I'm just getting this guy there one at a time. Here we go. Left. Yes. Or oh, I'll get the top guy as well. Here you are. We'll go for, we'll go for the double. Down. Yes, Billy number one is there. This is in no way satisfying. No, let's shut the music up because what was mu no music? N. 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 Okay, so this one, I actually, uh, I couldn't find a disc image of it. Uh, so I've had to use a cassette version, which means we've got to load the bloody thing. So uh, I'm going to press play on my virtual keyboard. Here we go. And there it is. So uh, I'm now going to sit here and listen to that for as long as it takes to load Easy Am's words. Right, here we are. If you're wondering how long that actually took, I timed it and it took forever. Um, what can we do? Create, edit, name, retrieve, save, print, all print. A little dot matrix printer. I haven't got one. 
uh, let's define the colours because that's the only element of this that's going to feel vaguely like a game. Uh, oh, no, I just got four options. Black and green, black and grey, green and white, or black and white, black and green. Let's go old school. Let's green screen this. That looks the same to me. Uh, maybe it's going to do it when we get the thing. Document name. Uh, I hate this. Screen width. Of course, you had three modes, didn't you? Mode 0, mode 1, mode 2. I think mode 0 was the big chunky one. It was like 20 characters. 40 characters for this one. And then 80 eight is narrow. Let's go 80 and show you the other uh, thing. There we are. Ah, now we're green and black. Right. Once upon... Oh. Once upon a time, there was a... I don't want to do this. Next game. I don't know what I'm going for. Ooh, double bells. It's held them for me. Come on. Three bells, please. No, it's a lemon. It's a lemon. <gasps> Hello. Right, we've got action. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Consulting the uh, instructions. Oh, I've dropped I've dropped them. Hang on. Hang on. Right, so we ca we've got no winner spinners. I remember those are quite good. We can gamble. We're currently on 20. So we could gamble and try to get from 20 up to 30. Or we could change the cash for nudges. Let's go for the nudges on this occasion because maybe there's some red peppers. What? I don't know what that red thing is. It's probably a red pepper, isn't it? Uh, let's, how, do we, how do we pick nudges? N will exchange wins for nudges. Here we go. N. It's happening. Oh, oh. Well, that's knackered it, hasn't it? Uh, I guess... Oh, I can gamble the nudges. Two's not going to be enough, is it? Let's gamble. Right, here we go. G for gamble. No, that's because I've lost. We've got a winner spinner. W, let's have a winner spinner. Do it! Will we get more than 50? Just collect. Let's see, let's see some action. Ooh, colours! I'm so happy. <laughs> Go on. Do I do I have to do it? Hello? I don't want to press the wrong thing. Right. Press W. Yeah. Oh, oh we press space bar to spin. Here we are, here we are, here we are. Oh what? Total so far is 30. Oh right. Collect. That uh that's a pity. Here we go. Right now this this one I played a lot when I was a kid. Uh, it's rubbish, but it loaded quickly. It loaded really quickly. So I played this a lot, even though I'd have done far better waiting and then playing a better game. I have not checked what the controls are for this. And thus, I am dead. Here we go. I'm a spaceman. Yes! We have bullets. We are dead. Okay. This is nonsense. Uh, the middle is safe when they clear. Okay, that didn't last long. We're talking defender levels of difficulty, but I have got my head around that. So I want to move right, shoot, and then move back into the center. Like that. Oh, they shoot as well. Dead again. Uh, right. There we are. Oh, yes, swine, nearly. I am not stopping until I beat level one. I'm stopping. Right, I just remembered something. I can't not do it. Oh, steady. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Alright, we're into the good stuff here. Harrier attack. Uh, I'm going to set the difficulty level to 1, because I'm rubbish at it. But it's quite a lot to this. There's a button for up and down and shoot. Go faster and slower and drop bomb. And if it all gets too much, we can bail out of our uh, rocket as well with the uh, ejector seat. It's proper this. Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. It's too many buttons. There's too many buttons. Christ. Got away with that, though. Let's try another bomb. Bomb. <gasps> oh, nearly had you, you bugger. Dodge, 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 dodge. Yes. Bomb. Yes! That's points. Oh, Christ, it's amazing. Look, there's clouds. There's all sorts. This is proper, isn't it? 
Let's go a little bit faster. See how we get on. Oh, we're actually going faster. Oh my god, it's so good! I, oh, I went behind the clouds! It's magic! Oh, that's... Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm so happy! I'd forgotten how good it... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, oh, oh yes. This is our mummy. It was my mummy, uh, as I knew her then. Mum now. Mummy then. It's her favourite game on this, uh, on the Amstrads. I think I'm pretty good at this one. Let's find out. I feel like I know what I'm doing. So the idea on this one, because I actually know what I'm doing, is to draw blocks around these. You've got to find a key uh, to move on to the next level. Don't get caught by the mummies. Obs. Like that. Sugar! That's one, one life gone. I mean, I got mugged into a corner there. There was nothing I could do about it. That's the last time I'll ever die in a game, though. So it's fine. I know! I've done it again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Games. Oh, no. Don't blow it. Don't blow it. Oh, you swine! No! Oh, nothing has ever mattered more to me than being better at that than I was. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. And I'm slightly less than quite good. Tune. Ba da ba da 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 and, um, yeah, the idea is... That, that was close, wasn't it? That thing nearly had me, then. Don't hang about, does it? Steady on there, Mr. Bird. Or ter pterodactyl? Is it a pterodactyl? I've no idea. Um, this game is absolutely dreadful and infuriating. Basically... Mm, mm, basically, the longer you... Uh, the longer you tap your button, the bigger you jump. Uh, oh, that's good. No, it isn't. I've landed on a thing that's killed me. Um, but the idea... Go again. Is to get out. Which is really hard, it turns out. I don't know why I did that. Right. Let's play the better Roland game. Roland on the ropes. Everyone knows it's the best Roland game. Uh, if you're wondering why the character in this one looks nothing like the character in the other one, it's because Roland was never a thing like Mario or Sonic. Amsoft used to just buy up random Spanish games and uh, call the character in them Roland, even though they didn't make any effort to reskin it or make it look like it was the same guy in each game. We're doing quite well here. We're up to level 11. So level 1 uh, is where we're trying to get to, and then we want to poke through the roof. That's the idea. I very rarely did that when I was a kid, because it's unnecessarily hard. And actually, there's no real strategy to it. You can't... You can't really do anything if something tries to attack you. You've got a gun with bullets, but it doesn't seem to kill ghosts. So, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, so there's not really much you can do. Having said that, I do feel like maybe this is quite a linear path in this particular maze and that we're covering enough ground that we're probably getting near the top. Dare I say it? Have I jinxed it? Maybe. Level three. <gasps> <laughs> I did it! I did a games! Oh, we're not playing any more of that. We'll leave that there. Yes! I'm so happy. What's next? Look at the graphics on this. Oh, look at it. It's got a ghost and everything. Right, let's, uh, let's see what's what. Do you want instructions? Yes, please. Oh, that's not how you spell Baghdad, is it? Is it? Maybe it is. The Sultan of Baghdad, whilst on a state visit to England in the 14th century, had the very bad misfortune to be set upon by a band of cutthroat vagabonds. Right. They stole the poor Sultan's treasure chest, containing his youngest daughter's dowry of six priceless rubies. The Sultan's personal champion, loyal and muscular as he was, chased the group of robbers into Hampton Court Maze. Here he was savagely attacked and murdered. All right, that's not me then. During the fight, the rubies were dropped at various points about the maze. Right. Get the, uh, get the rubies then. Here we okay. Goes to the back. I uh, get the rubies. Just get the rubies. That is more rules. You are not permitted to jump through the outer hedges of the maze, but may jump through the inner hedges when on levels of. No, I have no interest in reading any of 
this. That is so much rules before you get to play a game. All right, look. You, I'm the little fella in the bottom right. The Guardian, which I assume is bad, is uh, up there. Let's go. Well, let's go left and go around and get those red ones. Then here we go. Turn left. Yes. This way. Turn right. Oh, it's slow. Let's go forward and try to jump through a hedge. Go. And jump through hedge. Yes, please. That's quite good graphics, isn't it? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, we'll go right, I think. Oh. Yeah, fair enough. That's uh, another score of zero. Well done, me. It's not rubbish, is it? No, it is. It is. All right, another game from Born Educational Software, the guys that brought you Animal Vegetable Mineral, and probably other games too. Uh, we are going to tell the time. I'm going to go hours and minutes, because I'm a big boy. I'm very, very clever. My first name is Stephen. We all know that now. Uh, and the idea is to get that person on the right-hand side to climb up the ladder. They go up if you get it right, uh, and they go down if you get it wrong. So it is 30 minutes past four o'clock. The terrifying face is happy. We climb the ladder. Whereas, if we get it wrong, let's say that's 20 past three, the face is angry. Down the ladder. Uh, let's very, very quickly uh, get me to the uh, top of the ladder and show you the awesome celebratory victory sequence that occurs when you get there. Uh, you don't need to watch this. I'll get it there and then we'll cut to it because you don't need to watch me tell the time. I'm actually struggling to work out what that is. What's that? 20 to 9, so that's 8.40. 8.40. 40 minutes past 8 o'clock. No one says time like that. What time is it? It is 40 minutes past 8 o'clock. I think this is going to be the last one. It was 55 minutes past 1 o'clock, but now it is 5 minutes past 2. Activate victory. That is, that is actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be. Fair play, Time Man 1. Fair play. All right, last game. This is Xanagrams. Xanagrams? Xanagrams. Xanagrams. Uh, it's a word puzzly game. We'll go, we'll go level one, just to ease into it. We'll have five words, though. Nice, easy words. That is not how I remember this game. All right, so with no clues, I've now got to fill it in with the letters on the right-hand side. Well, I don't... Uh, I don't know. Let's try some vowels in that gap there, arbitrarily. Nope. Let's try them here. Okay. Not there either. How about there? Words do have vowels, right? I... That is an O. So, uh... What five-letter word has an O in the middle and uses four of those letters on the right-hand side? Sports. No. Really? No. Okay. Oh, P isn't there. All right. Well, that's... Short. No. Stout. Stout. No. St stone. Stone? No. Uh, stole. No. Uh, starts with an M. Starts with an M. M ma. No. Me. No. Ma. No. Ma. 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 Uh, mushroom. There's loads of O's. It's mushroom. I can't believe I'm getting it right as quick as I am. How is this not harder? M uh, mountain. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It doesn't feel like you should be able to get it. Noon. That's ridiculous. All right. Like the noise. That's that's absurd. How possible it is to do that with no clues. So there you go. That was that. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, 